Dr. Lewis Jolyon West is a professor of psychiatry at the University of California, Los Angeles, and the former head of the Neuropsychiatric Institute there. He's a pioneer in the study of mind control and thought reform and is known throughout the world as an expert on these techniques. Totalist cults vary, but typically, once you're in, you're discouraged from questioning and thinking critically. You must accept the word of the leaders. They make you feel guilty if you do question or argue. Your environment is often controlled, cutting you off from friends, family, school, previously held beliefs. They want you to become dependent on the cult. Some provide a poor diet, poor health care, little sleep, and long, exhausting hours of work to make you physically weak and lower your ability to think clearly. Subtly, your self-confidence gets undermined and your self-image or sense of identity is changed. The leaders control channels of communication. They cut off or put down outside sources of information. Then they bombard you with what they want you to think. You become dependent on the group. You're told that you won't be able to make it without them. Maybe you'll be hit by a car or get cancer or go insane, or a family member will be harmed. You become convinced you can solve your problems or be happy only by staying with the group and by accepting its answers. They use strong peer pressure, playing on your desire to be loved and accepted. The leaders may promise rewards if you obey them and punishment if you don't, but they alternate harshness and leniency in order to confuse you. The leaders manipulate language, giving special meanings to words that only insiders understand. This is to make you feel like you're part of a special, important, or elite group, and that outsiders are inferior, dangerous, or doomed. They may use techniques such as meditation, chanting, speaking in tongues, self-hypnosis, reveries, visualization, or controlled breathing exercises, anything to put you into a trance-like state of mind and be easily influenced. You have to confess your shortcomings, mistakes, or misbehavior, sometimes even if these things never really happened. And meanwhile, your time and activities are tightly controlled. You don't have much privacy or energy or time to think because you're too busy doing monotonous, repetitive tasks or other cult-related activities. The leaders try to control you and who and when you can love and even your sexuality, everything about you. They want to exploit you for their own enrichment, their own power or grandiosity. If they succeed, you will declare your loyalty to the cult and to its leaders, rejecting your old values and way of life. Without realizing it, you will have been changed into a person who is being controlled by a totalist cult.